Welcome back to the channel. Let me start with a quick question. How many times have you looked at your tablet and thought, wow, this thing's basically a laptop, but thinner and lighter? Well, Apple just made that thought a reality with. Their latest launch, the iPad Pro M5. This isn't just another yearly refresh. Not this. Feels like Apple's boldest attempt yet at merging laptop level performance with the portability of a tablet. And trust me, this one's going to turn a lot of heads. So what makes the iPad Pro M5 so special? The heart of it is the brand new M5 chip. Apple's silicon has already been leading the pack for years. But the M5 is like the overachiever in the family who just won't stop collecting awards. Compared to the already impressive M4, this new chip delivers up to 50% faster CPU performance. A next-gen GPU with hardware-accelerated ray tracing. Console-level gaming on a tablet hand. A neural engine that eats AI tasks for breakfast. Imagine editing a 4K video in Final Cut, modeling in 3D. Or even coding on your iPad without ever touching a desktop. It's kind of scary how powerful this thing has become. But Apple didn't just throw in a powerful chip and call it a day. They gave the iPad Pro M5 a design refresh. Think thinner bezels, a lighter chassis, and even whispers of a brushed titanium finish. Basically, it's got the DNA of the iPhone 15 Pro but in tablet form. Apple also fixed something that's been annoying people for years, the landscape. Camera placement. Finally, no more awkward sideways zoom calls where you're staring at the wrong corner. And yes, Apple's still flexing its green badge. Making these iPads with more recycled aluminum and rare earth materials to stay on track with their 2030 carbon neutral goals. Now let's talk about the display, because Apple clearly wants your eyeballs glued to this screen. They're introducing a brand new dual, old system marketed as Ultra Retina XDR translation. Deeper blacks, brighter highlights, and a level of contrast that can actually rival professional studio monitors. And for all the artists and designers, out there, the improved Apple Pencil responsiveness is going to feel like drawing on paper but better. Because this paper can render 3D models and animate them in real time. Oh, and promotion with adaptive refresh up to 120Hz means scrolling is buttery smooth, while also saving battery when you don't need all that power. Speaking of battery, Apple knows performance means nothing if your device dies halfway through your Netflix binge or design project. Thanks to old efficiency and the M5's power-conscious architecture, you're looking at around 12 to 14 hours of use. Plus, with Thunderbolt for support, file transfers are blazing fast, and charging accessories is seamless. Basically, this iPad is built for long sessions, whether you're gaming, you're creating, or let's be real procrastinating on YouTube. Now here's where Apple shows its ecosystem magic accessories. The new Magic Keyboard. Pro now comes with a larger trackpad and even haptic feedback, finally giving us a more MacBook-like experience. The Apple Pencil 3 introduces haptic cues and interchangeable tips, making it a literal Swiss Army knife. For creatives, Apple's improved stage manager means multitasking actually feels like multitasking, not the frustrating window juggling act it used to be. So what's the catch? Well, it's Apple, we all know the answer. The price. The 11-inch model is expected to start at $999, while the 30-inch version will set you back about $1,299. Add in storage upgrades and accessories, you're easily climbing past $2,000. Apple is clearly not targeting the casual Netflix watcher here. The iPad Pro M5 is aimed at professionals, creators, and business users who need desktop class performance in something you can slip into a backpack. As for release timing, it's based on Apple's usual cycle. The iPad Pro M5 should land in Q2 or Q3. Of 2025, pre-orders will probably open right after the announcement with shipping a few weeks later. And it'll likely line up with the next MacBook and iPhone refresh because, let's be honest, Apple loves to keep us all in that shiny ecosystem. So where does this leave Apple compared to rivals? Honestly, the gap is wider than ever. Samsung's Le Galaxy tabs are great. Microsoft's Surface line has its fans. But Apple's Silicon Advantage, exclusive Pro apps like Final Cut and Logic Pro, and its seamless integration with iPhone, Mac, and Apple Watch, it's just hard to compete. So, here's the million dollar question, should you buy it? If you're a creative professional, 
a business user, or just someone who wants cutting-edge performance in a portable package. Then yes, the iPad Pro M5 isn't just a refresh, it's Apple showing us the future of mobile computing. For casual users though, you might want to stick with a cheaper iPad or even wait for the Air. At the end of the day, the iPad Pro M5 feels like Apple's boldest move yet to blur the line between tablets and laptops. It's sleek, it's powerful, and it's definitely not cheap, but it might just be the device that makes you rethink what a tablet can do. So what do you think? Is the iPad Pro M5 the future of laptops or is it just another expensive toy? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay. And hey, if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss future deep dives. Also, check out my video on the Apple Watch Ultra 3 and my take on the iPhone 17 Pro Max both linked right here on the end screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.